What is going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me once again on the Roaming Prepper channel. I'm your host, Pete. And today I have a, another Prepper X file video. Uh, the Prepper X files are meant to be the more sci fi ish kind of technology based weirdness that we see. Not so much like, ah, Russia's fighting with Ukraine, but more like aliens or weird technology or something like that. So anyway, for those of you who've never seen one before, that's what we're about. So today, interesting article that I accidentally came across that apparently happened two months ago. And I don't think any of the channels, including myself, caught it and talked about it, even though generically it's a threat. So what am I talking about? It's drones. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, the little guy that I use to take pictures of my dog that really pisses them off, by the way, and they chase the drone around or they run away from it, depending on which dog it is. Um, that one runs away. The other three, the corgis, try to herd the, the sky dog. But anyway, um, and yes, I think they think it's a sky dog. But point being, um, apparently, um, drones were interfering with operations. You know, we've heard about, oh, somebody flew a drone into the airport and they had to shut down the airport. For weeks, they were messing with Langley Air Force Base. Yeah, the Langley Air Force Base. So uh, let me bring that up for you real quick, because I think this is just really interesting, because this is kind of a horrifying revolution of what could conceivably happen. So here we go. It says, unmanned drones uh, flew around Langley Air Force Base in Virginia for several weeks last December, Air Force officials confirmed on Friday. The drones were first noted on December 6, 2023, according to officials, fluctuated in size and configuration. It is unclear whether the drones also swarmed nearby defense facilities during this time, such as the U.S. Army's Fort Eustis. Um, and then it goes on to say, none of the incursions appeared to exhibit hostile intent, but were f anything flying in our restricted airspace can pose a, f a f pose a threat to flight safety. Now, that's interesting. That one's in uh, MSN, and it's also on Interesting Engineering, which is a website of fringy stuff and uh washington examiner so there were a couple of newspapers reporting on it why is this important well think about it you know with the immigration situation or even with domestic idiots it doesn't take a lot to disrupt operations um elon musk actually went so far in one of his talks to say that look we already have facial recognition on cell phones right like software facial recognition, right? You could go on Google and, and put someone's picture or a picture of something and it does recognition and it finds whatever it is. It's kind of an AI. We use the term AI very loosely. It, it's basically computing engineering and it just, you know, does its thing. He said, who's to say that we don't take a drone and give it someone's picture and say, this person is your target and you deploy the drone and the drone just starts scanning a crowd and it sees an individual and it just says okay that's the individual that individual matches my little picture and the drone just goes down and crashes into the guy and detonates it doesn't even have to be a big explosion you know it could be like a shotgun shell attached to a primer right just enough to hurt the guy or you kamikaze him and just whack him on the head um but he says that technology already exists he said a couple of good technology folks with the right software and some funding can absolutely make a drone that'll hunt you down individually not like randomly it flies around and goes oh i'm going to attack that person and whack no it's going to look for that person as a specific individual but what's scarier here other than that really far-reaching theory of elon musk's which by the way is not wrong um the fact that the air force base that is near Langley, which is near CIA headquarters, the NSA, just south of Washington, D.C. Like, this is the big Air Force base that also serves as a NASA platform for some of their uh, high-altitude research planes, was disrupted for weeks by drones of different sizes and types. So it wasn't like the same drone showed up and was being a shit. Um, 
that's concerning because that's not very expensive. Now, granted, for you and I, if we want to go buy a drone like my drone, you know, runs runs quite a few hundred bucks, um, and you could get drones into the thousands of dollars. <clears throat> but excuse me, you get some bad guys or or bad players who can get five, ten thousand dollars of funding, which is not hard for people like this, and they buy ten drones. And they go and load them with a even something really archaic, like a a timed detonating device, nothing that'll actually cause much damage, and just fly it and like crash into airplanes and blow out a windshield while they're sitting on their airport. Do you know what that would do to the country, the chaos that would occur? And as a drone operator, I can tell you my drone can haul ass. And mine's kind of big and slow compared to some. My son-in-law is absolutely a rocket. And it's a little itty-bitty thing. How do you stop them? So the military has some kind of technology where it emits microwaves and sound waves, basically fries the drone in midair and knocks it down. Others have used anti-drone drones where one drone basically says any drone with A – signal is friendly and any other drone must be destroyed and they go and knock the other drones down regardless of the technology this is a scary evolution of warfare because it's showing and russia's having all sorts of fits with the ukrainian drones which are basically amazon drones that are rigged up to drop a grenade that's all they do they drop a grenade or a mortar shell which is a big thing actually um and fly away as a matter of fact there's a video of one drone chasing soldiers around um, and the soldiers are running away from it because the drone has a detonating device on it. And the guy's trying to flee. And ultimately, the drone actually winds up doing this guy in. Um, they don't show that. But, you know, you just show this poof and the guy goes flying. Um, that's a horrifying thought. What an incredible way to evolve warfare when our biggest Air Force base doesn't have an effective defense against it. What about 100 drones against an aircraft carrier? And now they're underwater drones. These are things that are really evolving very quickly and in a very frightening direction. You add to that AI and, and very high-end computing power, and you can have drones actually change their mission in mid-flight because they realize, oh, we're going to attack this thing, but there's defenses there. So plan B, and they just split up and they'll do something else. So interesting stuff now nothing we can worry about nothing we can really do about it but it's good to understand how these things evolve and if you're a drone operator you may want to ask yourself how can a drone be incorporated into my preparedness um for instance with uh for my own i can use it for reconnaissance i can use it to survey an area even if i don't think there's a threat i can say well you know what this is a new terrain to me i'm going to fly my drone and get a look at everything around me and see what am i dealing with am i dealing with desert cactuses snakes you know uh is there water sources these can be great options of resource uh, at the same time the drone can also be used to investigate something you hear an explosion or a crash during any kind of blackout or situation you can pop your drone in the air don't have to go super high you can if you want to go and take a picture of it and bring get the picture transmitted to you and say okay um that was a car accident that was a house collapse um the drone can be used defensively in the sense that you can survey or investigate things without putting yourself immediately at risk. And you could do it from a distance. Um, by the same token, you can also use your own drone, uh, I guess offensively if you wanted to, in, in dropping devices, but that's a topic we won't get into. But you've seen what the Ukrainians are doing. But you can also, again, use it to inspect your property, inspect your terrain, understand how your greater area is laid out. I know a lot of people who are living on high ground that don't really realize they're on high ground until it floods. And they're like, wow, everyone flooded but me. Well, you're on the high ground, dude. They didn't know that. Um, you can also use it to uh, help you plan trade routes. In the event you have an emergency, you can find suitable places to say, hey, we can travel across this area when it's flooded or when there's bad weather so that we can meet other people and engage in commerce or trade or give each other assistance. So 
again, good and bad with this one, but the fact that an Air Force base as big as Langley was fighting for weeks with generic drones coming out of nowhere, that scares the hell out of me. And I promise you, a lot of these folks who are coming in are not great players. And, uh, you know, if they have the funding to get into the U.S., they probably have the funding to go buy themselves a couple of drones. So just something to think about. In any case, folks, I'll leave you with those uh, interesting thoughts. Until next time, God bless, God speed, God speed, God speed, and I will see you all on the next video. Take care of yourselves.